Very good reading, man. Great Thank commentating you. voice. Let's get him a voice acting job. Thank you. Ooh! <laughs> What is up, <laughs> Couch Crew? What? Did you guys guess the game off Logan's hit of roses? You didn't even let me say a damn word and you hit me. What is wrong with you, man? I don't know, man. I was so excited. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! It is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. This is one of my favorite Without games. a doubt, my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Your favorite? Yes. Okay. I like it. It's this one, and then the one that's basically it's the standard Yu-Gi-Oh! game on Game Boy Advance. You remember which one where I you think could I just do. duel the people over and over? I think that was... Yeah, I think I had that. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Duelist of the Roses. This is basically a sequel to Forbidden Memories, I think. Yeah. It has a lot of the same mechanics. Yeah. Just more but I mean, depth I think, and evolve. I think people usually play Forbidden Memories and then go to this one. I love this game. You love this game, obviously. I did. But this game is the bomb. This was the first console one I played. Was there even... There was only two console ones, wasn't there? I think so. I think Forbidden Memories and... I this think that's one. why they're considered... All right. The British Empire in the 1480s. The War of the Roses. A power struggle between the houses of Lancaster... Red Rose. ...and York... White Rose. To decide a royal successor was nearing an end. The British first in the 80s. With... Hey, look, it's High Shin. I should. With the Yorkist well in the lead, the reign of Richard III was but a step away. Or is it Ricard III? It could be Ricard. It's probably Ricard. And in France, Yugi, Henry Tudor. <laughs> what? <laughs> why, why did they just randomly whitewash his name there? <laughs> Henry Tudor. <laughs> For you Western folk, his name is Henry Tudor. Why don't I just... It's a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Just keep his name Yu-Gi. No, <laughs> like, for now on, it's Henry. Henry. <laughs> okay, forced to live in exile. Are we back here? Beautiful. Commentary. The Lancastrian forces were rendered powerless by ancient cards of sorcery wielded by Set. See, his name's still oh, Seto. Yeah. It's not like <laughs> Rick. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> okay. Oh, and his seven followers, who known as the Rose Crusaders, served under the flag of Lord Crawford, a powerful Yorkist nobleman. Lacking a duelist to champion... Lacking a duelist... Oh, lacking a duelist to champion their cause... Sorry, I can't read the script. Defeat was imminent for the last Lancastrians. I want to say Lannisters every time <laughs> I see it. In England, dual card games were still at the fledgling stage. Thus, the Lancastrians had to look elsewhere for a dual master capable of facing the Rosenkrieg in battle. With this in mind, Margaret My Beaufort of Lancaster secretly requested a high druid to summon a duelist from another age. Yeah, does she pull us from the past? I think so. I yes. think this is why it's the same. Well, she doesn't. Well, she, Simon does. She gets someone to. That's us. We're here. But please, let's talk about very good reading, man. Thank Great you. commentating Thank voice. You. Let's get him a voice acting job. Thank you. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> you love that transition? Yes. Summoned from the mystic circle of red and white roses, the one capable of harnessing pure power. I don't remember my voice from Venom Memories. <laughs> this is a there. new Simon. This is a new Simon. There was truth to the legend of the Rose Duelist. Yeah, this is a posh Europeanish <laughs> Simon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lady Margaret, I did it. Now we have the means for defeating the evil forces of Rose and Cruz. Okay, just as a, uh, a warning, this is going to be a long ass intro. <laughs> like, this intro sequence is long as hell. Du, du, du. <laughs> oh. My apologies. In my excitement, I've forgotten I was the presence of the Rose Duelist. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Simon McMorrin, High Druid and Servant of Lancaster. <laughs> May I be so bold as to ask the name by which the Rose Duelist would like to be known? Alright, our name. We're 
crew. We're the crew. Okay. Yeah, we gotta keep it the same. We're but back. This time, we're cut. Crew. Wait, Whoa! <laughs> what? Whoa! What are you doing? Why would you <laughs> use K? We're couch. Go off with C. Whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> Cancel! Cancel! That's how I cancel. I was oh, I was oh. pressing B. I was <laughs> pressing B to cancel. No, pretend the GameCube controller is a PlayStation. That's why my mind, <laughs> my mind froze at the worst part. <laughs> oh my! Okay. What are you doing? We're we, crew. Why with K's? We're couch crew. We're, this is a different because past us was C crew. Now we're K crew. This is more, you know. Actually, wait, 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 wait. God, I keep doing that. We're K crew. <laughs> K crew. I clearly have no idea what's going on here. Can you guys pick your name already? <laughs> Is this good with you? Yeah. Let's do okay. It. I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> it. We're K crew. Do it, do it, do but, it. But we're fancy. We're K crew. K crew. Keep going. Just read. K crew. A <laughs> fine name indeed. See. <laughs> He even thinks so. Now here's the situation. The year is 1485 and you are currently in Stonehenge, near Salisbury Stake, England. <laughs> the British Empire is in That was the lamest the joke. Of the <laughs> and I couldn't stop myself. Rightful claim to the throne being. I encourage your shitty jokes. Challenge by your first <laughs> the foul struggles referred to as the War of the Roses, a name based on the badges used by both sides. Uh, red rose for the Lancastrians, and a white rose for the Orcus. Right now, our kingdom is threatened by the Orcus and their wrongful, wrongful claim to the throne. What? What is it? All because the Orcus enjoy the support of the Rose Crusaders and their sorcerous White Rose cause. This is the biggest exposition intro <laughs> out of all videos. Using <laughs> our Red Rose, we summoned you, crew to this day and age. K crew, you have to say it right. K crew. <laughs> <laughs> this will take us like an hour to get past this. <laughs> we hope that your dueling experience would defeat the Rose Crusaders. Let's get over a bit <laughs> and leave. Lead us to victory. <laughs> what the? He said, Skitova, you will help us. <laughs> is that a question? You or will is... help us? <laughs> of course you will. Foolish of me to even doubt where your loyalty lies. Rumor has it only the legendary Rose Duel stands a chance against the power of Rose and Cruz. We appreciate any help you can provide against them. Before I forget, I should warn you that the rules to dueling differ from here than those of your age. Here in England, dueling is governed by what, we is, no, what is known as the perfect rule. In addition to several minor distinctions, there are two major differences. <laughs> One is the existence of movement or position. The other is the deck leader concept. These are two aspects of dueling that were lost in the process when the ancient sport of duel monsters was adapted to colorful. <laughs> uh -huh. The perfect rule represents these lost rules that were miraculously revived here in England. Perhaps a practice duel will serve better than an explanation, <laughs> shall we? No. Go down. <laughs> we no. can either... Practice duel in India. It's, <laughs> it's not even a practice duel. It's a tutorial that goes on for another 30 minutes. Does it really? Yes. First, K, -k, -k crew. No, you have to roll K crew. <laughs> you must select a deck to duel. Okay. I knew I took Spanish for something. <laughs> it is important that you feel the vibrations of a deck with that minute resonation. That ring. <laughs> what? The True to your soul. The card themselves draw their power from the energies of the ancient ones. The deck leader acts as an intermediate between the ancient ones and the deck wielder. 
take clue, <laughs> it is essential that you select a car leader whose rhythm matches the stirring <laughs> the of your of soul. Your, of your loins. <laughs> Can we fucking it? Here are several decks from which to choose. Give it some serious <laughs> thought and make your selection. Choose carefully, for the deck you select will guide the destiny of your duels. Okay. All right, let's get this down. That means Dino. That means Magician. That means Water, and that means Gecko. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I started from the second. Well, we have the here. average summon level too. <clears throat> this is our deck leader, right? Yes. Okay. Who's the coolest looking one? Like, is that how we're doing it? The coolest looking dude. That one's focused. That one is all beast. This one is. These are like widespread. You want to do this one? Yeah. Let's. We're gonna do the tiger. Up, it's a king up. tiger. Wang. Look at how focused it is compared to the other. <laughs> it is. We're gonna try it. <clears throat> this could make or break us. Oh! I see you have selected your deck. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Who is this? Oh, for sure. <clears throat> it's all you. So that's the effect of the Celtic Red Rose. <laughs> 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 Are you okay over there? Uh, it looks like there's some truth to the rumor that Red Rose cars are capable of time transformation. Who's there? Ooh, I like this music. It's been some time since the Battle of Bon Yet, old one. So you going on, Rose and Cruz? What brings you here? Like my improv. <laughs> yes, I, I love it. Only a member of the Rose Crusaders may call me by that name. If you may recall, I once, I told you once before, that you may only address me as Seto. <laughs> Seto. S oh, okay. I was confused. Seito. <laughs> or does memory fail you, old man? I don't know. My, <laughs> I keep changing how he sounds. Remember, this is English oh. Seto. And you must be dreaded Rose do this. I must admit, I must admit that's a certain aura of power emanating from you. I believe an introduction is in order. I am, s oh shit. There are what? members of our little group who prefer to call me the name of C. Rosencruz. I ask you again, what brings you here? Seto, Seto, Seto? <laughs> it's Seto. Uh, oh, Old man, oh, mind your man. My, my memory fails me. <laughs> what else would bring me here, you d d wanker? <laughs> I've come for the red rose cards. After all, it, it was you who showed me how the summoning capabilities would evolve when the red rose cards are. Combined with the transport powers of the White Rose Cards. You are <laughs> thinking of attempting the Forbidden Rose Summoning. If so, then the Red Rose Card must never fall into your evil hands. Card sorcery taps into the power of the Ancient Ones. <laughs> By their very nature, each card is a double-edged sword that can cut <laughs> in both ways. The rose cards alone harness tremendous power. There's no telling what horrors one might unleash to the world by combining both red and white. That's pink. I will <laughs> sacrifice my own life if need be to prevent any from uttering the spell of doom. The spell of doom? Fool. Fool. The 16 red and white cards grant power over all. Druid legend has twisted the true meaning of these cards. We Rose Crusaders have sworn to create a utopia free from the ravages of war. We intend to accomplish this with the power of the cards. And we shall do so by extending the rule of Richard III throughout the known world. Okay, we are confirming Richard and not Ricard. Ricard Trace. <laughs> Ricard Trace? Don't talk, oh. <laughs> By the way, it was clever of you to form a circle of red roses within the white rose barrier 
to summon the Rose Duelist. But what the fuck are these guys <laughs> even talking about at this point? The white and the red, then know, you mix dude. it all about. You, but you were foolish to come along. The area is surrounded, and if you wish to keep your life, you will do only so by handing over the Red Rose cards. Me? A fool? Then what about you? Are you fool enough to actually believe the Red Rose no. cards would remain here in my possession? No. Right after the summoning, Bro. I had the cards dispersed among our best duelists to keep them from your- This dude acts fast. Tainted hands! My hands are clean! Then, <laughs> you leave me with what? <coughs> but with one option. I shall enlist the aid of your precious Rose Duelist. You can... You take leave of your senses. And you speak too soon, old man. I have money. I will pay him dearly with money and hoes. Heed my words, <laughs> Duelist. If you wish to return to your proper time period, you will require... 16 cards of the red and white roses. The red and white positions must be laid out in reverse of the summoning order to send you home. Uh, at K this point, my our K guys... K-Crew is interesting. K-Crew is probably like, what the fuck's going yeah, on? Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know the spell? <laughs> of course I know the spell. Since you need the 16 rose cards just as much as we do, I propose a partnership. Help us gather the cards and I shall guarantee your return after we've retrieved our ultimate goal! What is that goal? Get some damn water. An absurd proposal! Do you think that the Honorable Kekru <laughs> would even lend an ear to your ridiculous proposal? You're rubbish! Can you be so sure, old man? How about we ask him ourselves? Let me see. Simon Side has eight of the Red Rose cards, while my, the Rose Crusaders, if you forgot, since we've been talking a long time, has possession of the other eight White Rose cards. That's what happens when you subtract 16 from eight, or eight from 16. As the numbers are even, simple arithmetic indicates that you can side with either of us. True. So, math. But I'm sure you'll take into account who's winning this war after all. Who was desperate enough to summon you in the first place. He has a point. I think it's quite True. clear. But if he was winning, would he at least have nine cards? True. But maybe... He... But if you have a great <laughs> position move to make, would you not take it? So summoning us would not be us them losing, True. but them taking the strength. <coughs> he's he's <clears throat> twisting the facts. I think it's quite clear which side is best, better positioned to send you home. Guru, had he not the words of this this power hungry lunatic? Simon, must you resort to name calling? I'm hurt. I'll tell you what. Why don't we leave the decision to our dear duelist? After all, Simon, the duelist's future is not us to decide now, is it? Well, yes, but... but... Splendid! But... In keeping with the tradition of the old temple gardens, I offer you a choice, duelist. Here are two roses. The white represents me, and the red for old Simon. The music's playing, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> First time we did this, there was no background music when we were testing it. For the sake of <coughs> testing, there was no music. But now we have justice! Which is because we have music. Choose the red rose! Stand by my side, Lewis. Choose the white rose. <clears throat> so, do we want to side with Simon or Seto? For the first one. Yeah, we're probably gonna go through both, because they're both different. Let's go with Seto. We're siding with Seto? Yes. Oh, shit. And then the second run will be the good guys. Okay, so we're bad guys. Yes. You just be trying Maybe, to I don't know. Them. See, you know, this they, did send, they did send their best. They sent us Seto. Red Team sent us Simon. Come on. True. 
And we are American, therefore we are Yankees, which are Yorkist. We at are some Yankee point. Doodles. We are not <clears throat> Lannisters. A wise choice, duelist. I see you are well versed in judging the situation. Welcome to the Rose Crusaders. I am on Okay, old man. It's time you made yourself scarce. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop. No! Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. I just need you to out of the way until everything is settled. Now, let's talk about the Red Rose cards. Holy shit. Simon mentioned that he spread the cards among certain individuals just after some. I think it's safe to assume that a large number of those individuals are his confederates currently located in France. I would like to ask you to enter France from Dover and retrieve those cards. France? <laughs> I would Ooh. go myself. However, I'm needed here <clears throat> to maintain a barrier against the According to the legend, one Go must evil. use a deck whose cost is lower than our opponents to capture a rose card of another color. Remember, a deck that's cost lower than an opponent is the key. I've also heard that the Celts inherited their red rose cards from the original inhabitants of Stonehenge. This would mean that our enemy Yugi has come from a line of Welsh nobility would likely have inherited one of the Red Rose cards. This means those who oppose Red Roses are sufficiently equipped to duel us as equals. Given their desperate situation, they will retaliate with everything they've got. It would not be wise to underestimate them. I'm depending on you. Thank God, dude! That was 20 minutes of- For him to explain something, I will never understand that you have to have a weaker deck to beat them to get it. Why can't you just- yeah. Destroy them into smithereens and take it. Yeah, so... Wow, look at our giant, uh... Tiger thing. Okay, so... I know this video is super long. <laughs> but we're doing a battle. But we're gonna do a battle. No one wants to... <coughs> no one wants to... The Rose Duelist! You dare to betray the hopes of Prince Yugi? I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. I guess the dead cost is so you are forced to... It's fair, I guess. Yeah. Or it's always challenging. Yeah, I get that. Because then you're like, oh, what do I have to take out? What to put yeah. in? Okay, so this game is much different. You have a deck leader, as they said. They could have explained all that in five minutes. Okay, so. Move. Really, this whole story is whites versus reds. Yeah. Um. Um. Oh my goodness. That was some loud beep. Yeah, it freaked out on us, so we had to reload it, and now, now there's no music. Yeah, now there's no so music. So now you'll know what we're talking about earlier. So this is a little bit different hand. Yeah, we got some good stuff. Different, so. uh, much different way things are played out. This will tell you, they'll tell you what cards can actually combine with them, and the power-up cards. Um... So, uh, there's, I actually, I think, oh yeah, you can look at, like, what can pair up with yes, and you can only summon, you can have a max of 12 stars that you can save from round to round. I think it's 12. Yeah. So you can't just summon all five cards at once, like you could in Forbidden Memories. Power increase. Nice. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so me. weird without me even got it. <clears throat> but I think there's not as many fusions as there was in, uh... I don't know. There's quite a bit in this one. Is there? Yeah. Okay, well, I... We're just gonna go head-on, full assault for... Ooh. This... I think that one gets... He gets bonuses and mounts, I think. I'm gonna see what this is. Because yeah, that one will get a bonus in the force. But, or, the... the Whatever. What are they doing? What? Yeah, so the main goal of this is to basically get their obviously. Yeah, they start off so weak. Dude, if you pick Yuki for your starting side, they start. Uh oh. We oh, can turn we can turn off this on default. We're gonna need to do that so yeah. we don't have to watch this. 
We don't want to watch this every time. Oh, I can skip it. Yeah. All right. I thought she powered that up. Oh, you can do that here, actually. Like It'll tell you, like, uh... Start? Edit. Yeah, start. Thing. That's intern. I just got... You just debated me. Don't worry. Can't make a move yet. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is that? Why does the... It keeps messing up. You see that? Oh, my God. Yeah, we definitely need to turn that off. And I forgot how. I know you can. I know you can turn off options. It should say options at some point or something. It's like the server. Go to a blank spot. Go to a blank spot. Oh, here we go. Options L1. L1. Abbreviate. This doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, so... Alright, now now we're good to go, I think. We don't have... We have nothing to beat that, I'm pretty sure. Wait, if I flip it, can't I go to? Only some can go to, right? Uh... It's in a mountain, that's why I- well, no. You should be able to go to. I don't know why you can't. Oh god. I'm oh not god. sure why they're not going to. I don't either. I forgot. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to just be able to go to. I think this person's gonna go to and screw us. We're gonna lose this first duel. And the no sound is bothering me for no end. <laughs> don't worry, we'll edit in music for you guys. <laughs> so it'll be super awkward. Um, this game is much harder than Forbidden Memories. Yes, it is. I don't know how to how we're gonna win. I don't know how we're gonna beat them. We're gonna have to sneak in there. We are legit gonna have to like covert what ops. Is the boost in the grass for that larva. Uh, we're gonna have to find out when the something's gotta fuse in here that we're just gonna throw some stuff together. Oh, oh, oh come on, show us the money. Twenty four hundred. Okay. No, that ain't twenty four hundred. How do I put them in? No, uh, it's, there you go. Oh, why flip Well, them? flip it back up. You could have flipped it back over. I'm beefing it. I'm beefing it so hard right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure they play super defensive. They will. Okay. Now, if you wanted to play super defensive, you could stall out 94 turns. Because Hell you no. have the LP lead. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What does this do? Okay. What does this do? Some of these I have to have good abilities, right? Let's go slow face. So battle the opposing monster is spellbound for one turn. That means you can't do anything for one turn. That's that's helpful. Okay. We're gonna do this. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> How do I... Oh, it's not working. No, what oh, no. happened? Oh, it's not working now. Why isn't it working? Who's this working? This is canceled. This, this is no. We're having mass, mass difficulties. This is an issue. Oh no! Oh no! We and we're back. We we figured out with some button smashing. Good yeah. old. This game is already... We're throwing... Whew, we'll have it fixed sometime. <laughs> Maybe. Don't get a... No, I think... Uh, it doesn't get a bonus. This thing needs to bail! Okay, we're gonna have to hit... We're gonna have to play... Running... Running away and hit... Whatever it's called. <laughs> Gotta get to the leader. How many good cards does no, she dude, have? No, they start out super strong in this game. They do. Just... And the BSing is like, they're like, oh, you can't have a. Are you serious? I don't even know if we have a good card in our deck. Well, I don't know what I our deck like is. I feel like we failed ourselves by picking the beast deck. We're like, oh, it's pretty focused. Yeah, maybe. But. What, how much can you actually combine with each other? Um, a beast warrior. Beast. A beast warrior. That's gotta be something, right? Okay. This is not good. This is not good. This guy's running for his goddamn life. That thing is chasing you down. Oh my. I'm getting killed by whatever that side thing is, I'm pretty sure. Oh. That's fine. That's actually what we want. Yes, now. That's actually perfect. Oh god! I'm getting surrounded! She has so many cards on the field! Okay. Oops. Okay. It can all 
honestly, kill your thing if it's moving towards you. I'm gonna go here. Okay. Um. Keep running! Build up a defense! Um. Oh god. Well, our deck block is attack. shit, dude. Woo. It's so. Block attack is. Yeah. We're just gonna yeah. bait this guy. We're going defensive here. This is this is a bad this is a bad start. Like a super bad start. <clears throat> what? Okay. You block you block attack. <laughs> oh, it blocks any attack on the field. Yes. I did not know that. What did Same. it block? I don't know. Even attacking. I didn't even move. see what it blocked. It blocks up that thing in the mountain. Over there. I have did. You got him. The leader ran away. Okay. We can chase him down. Chase him. We gotta keep chasing. Uh, we just gotta hope we have a good card. Oh. Oh, dude. That goes in a huge area. It so does. Now I have to think about: Do we want to move it towards him or? Well, first let me move. Yes. We probably want it on us. All right. I would say move it forward at least once, and then flip it. This should be a big ass like. It should. Be. Yeah. yeah it's, 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 we got max. Uh, yeah, max max efficiency. So, so two all around. One die. Now can we can we summon a card too? No. no. This gets terrain bonus. Yes. Okay. So all these get terrain bonus. And you cannot deck yourself. So that's good. You can't run out of cards to fight. Yeah, you can't play like, oh, you have to draw, but you have no more cards to draw, and you'll just keep going. Oh, God. Wait, what? I don't know why it focuses in like that. Like this. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to do that. No, it's not. But this is a... Woo! This is a trial run. <laughs> we should have we done a lot more testing. We should have. We didn't test it duel. We were like, it's... We're just ready to go. <sighs> For now. For now. It's doable. It's not we'll, like we'll super bad. We'll try and fix it. But, you know, it's not too bad. No music is good. No. Oh. Now I can get to your favorite terrain, so. You can flip it back. Oh, there we go. There you go. Right there. Okay. You can, you know, I'm throwing it. Now. I have thrown away a bit. How strong is that thing? 1900. So it did weekend though. No, the other thing, so that thing's 2300. Oh. I'm about to lose, aren't I? We're about to lose. Yes, you're about to lose. We have a thousand LP. Get through! No! I gotta remember to keep to put these things in the pits of them. Because we have uh, 600 LP. We're so dead. We're so dead. We are so dead. Unless we have some. That needs to go defense. There you go. Come on, show me the money. Check, check the force. How strong is that in the forest? It won't it's get a machine. machine. You need it in the mountain. Oh, that thing. This thing. Thousand. Okay. You want to wait, 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 wait. You throw something in front of it first to see if it comes on. Okay, hold on. I want to use this. Now I throw this here. This is a dragon. The dragon's still a machine dragon. This worked in. I'm gonna try this as a test. All right. Yes. Give me. They do. A lot of them still are the same. Okay. But it's still not strong enough. That's fine. I just wanted to see. But the fusion is there. But we and we do also have. Do any of those have... combine with that little? What what's that thing you do? It's like a bug. I don't know what it does. The oh, the little one. leaves. Yeah. I think it gives us LP, which we can need right now. I can kill that thing. Yeah, I would summon the 2000 first. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh! I would summon that first, baby! Let's do this. Alright, flip. Move. Get out of here! Alright, the comeback's on the All way. Alright, comeback. Let's go. We don't have much LP to play with since I kind of beefed it, but we got this, right? Don't Advance the. Don't worry, we got the goblin secret remedy. We need to get this thing to a mountain, and there's only two mountains. True. 
You might be able to kill what's on Dude, that, that noise really. has got to be getting annoying. <laughs> well, that's the authenticity of the game, okay? That's what you prefer over music any day. Sure. I'm pretty sure All the right. music in this game is pretty good. Whoa! Play the magic card, save the stars. Yes, okay, so what does this do? I guess I should read it. Alright, perfect. Okay. Oh my, when you just play automatically. Okay. I guess you could see. Alright, I, I attack know. this. You drop in power. I know, that's all. Use your dragon. So go oh. up with him. Okay. And then get your dragon over that way. We don't want to lose one of our strongest forest cards. True. I keep flipping it over. I don't mean to. Okay. See, this takes a lot more strategy than dual support than uh. The problem is the CPUs play so carefully in this game. They, they do. Can't, you can't like bait them. They're much smarter than. They won't attack memories. every face down card like they will in forbidden memories. Yeah. They're. Okay, this thing has a terrain bonus, but it's 20, what, so 250? 2250, yes. Yeah. So, should I attack with this? Yes, because otherwise... Or should that's I That's 50 wait. less than what your dragon would be. Our dragon would be 2350. Is it oh, the attacking maybe. amount? I'm gonna risk it. We're risking it. Please. Did we just lose? 3,000 defense? <laughs> 3,000 defense. Good thing we got wow. Goblin Why Super. is. Oh, she powered it up and it has terrain. Damn. Okay. 23,000 defense. Uh, what is this thing? What is, what is this thing? 2,300? Okay, so this thing is 2,300. God damn, dude. 20. Good thing we hit, used that goblin thing or we would have lost. Well, we would have just lost. See that's all they do. They play super defensive in this game. I feel. No, they do. That's why this one's much harder. What was that? Oh god. Well, steal them out with your dragon, but keep it face down, and then try to. This has thirteen hundred. So I wanna. Oh, she's trying to come kill me. So I'm just gonna attack it with this. Yes. Okay. This is perfect. <clears throat> yeah, that's really good. Even the card had like no power to begin with. It just had lots of defense. It, it was a tank, man. Yes, and then keep throwing the dragon over. Yeah. And then this guy. Put the defense. defense. <laughs> That's a game loser right there yeah. if he gets the attack. I just forget to switch it over and then. See, look, they put themselves in a corner yes, they... and just build a wall, basically. The problem is, if I have another a board, board, it's the thing with one green. Uh, we need to hope we have, have one more board. good card. No, oh, this doesn't get a power up in. What? Because it's just a machine. This is not good. Okay, we're just. Oh, well, oh, it's gonna die. Whatever you put out there. Uh, well, hopefully, it's not super strong. It's. Oh, that's 1900 power. <sighs> so we already have the ma There's a max amount of cards you can have on the field of monsters. How do I delete this? You could have. You could have. Oh, I could summoned on top yeah. of it. Okay. I'm a bit rusty. I'm very rusty. We just need one big attack on her. But I'm scared. She's like moving towards us. I don't know what that it's is. That problem right there, the 2300, because they can kill anything we got. Yeah, every time we move, if we move out of... What is this? This is going to be... Destroys the monster with the lowest attack on the field. I'm not sure that helps. No, because I don't think we might need to save up stars. No. Because here's the thing. Just destroys the most one. I think the target drops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Can I kill? Yeah, you can. Like combine them. Yeah, you can combine them. 
I'll do it with the last like, second years. Since it's stronger. See, this takes thinking. You can't just mindlessly pump out twin headed thunder dragons. That one's attacking your dragon. Let's hope the dragon is. Well, I can attack it with the. The. Uh. Oh, oh sh What? That's a bait. Those can't move too, though. What does that do? Holy shit. Just powered everything up! Holy shit! Just powered them up! Wait, 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 wait. I can attack this. Yes, but those can't move too, so you'll be safe. So should I attack this? Probably. Okay. Unless I'm getting trapped. Such a weird cut where it goes off the screen. It does. Off the map. It's it? so awkward. Okay, this... What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have Look to Look at that sexy forest detail. We're gonna have to mess with some settings. Um, next time. For next yeah, time. Yeah, for next time. But right now, we're gonna have to truck through it. This is a long-ass first episode. It is, but... Sometimes that uh, happens for an intro, because... I think we lost. We lost. The thing is 2,700 attack. A petite angel that starts with like what, 800? Yes. Okay. Wow. Teo just wrecked us. Okay, that that was the first. Welcome to Duel. We of chose the, the wrong deck. No, I think we misplayed by not. If we would have put our forest on her side and then just... I told you to! Yeah, but we were being bombarded at that time. We didn't know our deck. Like, we didn't know we had strong stuff. You know what? That does it. Yeah, that does it for this episode. Well, thank you for sticking by in this intro. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll put in some music so you don't have to listen to the awfulness that we had to yeah, with exactly. no music. Um, until next time. Peace out. See ya. Hey, Couch Crew, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, you know, comment, subscribe below. And if you want to check out the last episode, click over here. And if you want to check out a random video, click over here. Join the Couch Crew.